welcome back. This episode is starting at the one and only James Price Point. I've still got my mate Sean with me who is out here fishing somewhere. We camped here last night, caught some crabs this morning and we're hoping to convert them into fish for dinner. I don't know what the plan is for this trip. We're just winging it, heading south eventually um, to Exmouth. Pretty low key, but hoping for a little catch and cook. So stay tuned, because it's just getting started. I have a new friend. Well, we're not friends yet because he keeps biting me. Here he is, here he is! Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry I threw you. I knew hermit crabs were so vicious. I want, I want to be your friend. I'm under the car. <laughs> but not to have a look at what's going on under here. But because we've got a little hitchhiker. Apparently he doesn't want to be bait. He wants to go driving. Dinner, or at least hand me the fishing rod so I can have a go. Hello! Is your beer empty? Might be one out there. Um, why is there no crab and no fish? Well, <laughs> sometimes you just need to, uh, sorry, get <laughs> my <laughs> flaps out of the way. <laughs> We need to feed the fish up to make him big enough before oh. we can actually catch them. So now he's another 100 grams bigger. Great. He's legal. Great. We'll throw another crab on and bring him in for dinner. Time to catch a fish. Now before we get any further, I must ask you about this headwear. <laughs> well, it's all about the UV protection. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. 180 degrees. We still sign provisions. So you can see what's coming. Peripheral. Peripheral. <laughs> Hour one, fish zero, beer two. <laughs> a very um, successful fishing mission so far. We might just have to have broccoli for dinner. <laughs> but we feel confident, we feel good, we, the hopes are high. How are you feeling? I always want to be vegetarian. <laughs> we call this fishing tactic the change locations, change your luck tactic. We got a fish on here. I'll move your beer for safety reasons. Oh, it's a big blue bone. Oh, yes. Yes, son. Oh, is it going to come up? Fling him up here. <laughs> <laughs> Little 
Who <laughs> thought the girl could fill a fish, eh? <laughs> the tricks. Nice. Time to get some firewood so we can get a fire cranking to cook that fish on the open coals. Obviously, we're dressed appropriately. Always. Let's hope the snakes have gone to bed. <laughs> yes. Let's get some fire and maybe wash my feet. The sun is setting. I've lit a fire. Get some coals on the go. And we'll cook this fish, hey? We'll catch and cook. Nothing better. All right, we've got the fish cooking under there. So veggies on top. So Delicious. Perfection. Yum. Fresh off the fire. Oh my God. That is so good. Delicious. Oh, look at this good bit. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. How sweet is that? I've never had this fish before. Oh. WA Blue Bone. Cooked to perfection. High five. yourself at Cape Range National Park or anywhere in the vicinity. I'm about to go for my very first snorkel of the trip. Conditions are pretty good. Snorkel, we've just been tourists. Tourists? Tourists, wow, that's a hard word to say. 
um, in the Cape Range National Park. We've stopped at Oyster Stacks. It's pretty windy though, so we're gonna come back either tomorrow or the next day and actually do a snorkel. But we've seen some whales out in the distance frolicking around and heaps of other people. Heaps of other people. I just wish it was less win windy and less Wendy's, less Wendy's. Just came uh, down to Yardie Creek to check out the crossing. It is a dead low at the moment. And I wasn't going to cross because we had no reason to, but now that we're here, it kind of feels rude not to take the Prado across. caught the one fish and by we I mean Sean pulled it in but it's but uh, what but, <laughs> but, what? <laughs> but it's a team fish isn't it <laughs> thanks Cuba for taking us out You're right. Sam for Skip. being here I'm just here and Sean for catching Sean the for having the, the fish luck I guess we just have to come back and have another go
we had two successful dives with Dive Ningaloo at two different locations. Saw lots of fish, a turtle, a little shark, and my first painted cray that I wasn't allowed to stop and pull out and throw on the Barbie. So I have to come back and do that. But all in all, it was a pretty good day. Did you guys have fun? Yes, it's so fun. Yes, we do love a little bit of crowd participation. Uh, well, the dreaded day has come and I have to leave Exmouth. I'm dawdling. It's nearly midday and I should have been on the road hours ago, but we're going to say goodbye to Sam. Bye, Sam. Enjoy the rest of your stay. Mm. <laughs> no plan, but need to be home in four days. So we'll see how that goes. So my aircon has decided it doesn't want to work. I've had a little bit of trouble with it this um, whole trip, especially up on the gib. It just got stuck on the lowest fan speed. We couldn't change anything and now it's not turning on at all. So, we put a little bonnet pop. Seeing if we can't fix it. Here's this look all right at the minute. I don't know what's wrong, but it's hot and I want cold air. And we've got cold air again. I don't know how I fixed it. I think I just I just pulled the filter out and gave it a bang and then put it back in and now we've got air again. So I don't think that was a problem, but I'll take it. And this is how we head to the water here at Coral Bay. packed up camp before the sun rose this morning. We stayed in Coral Bay last night. Um, left before the sun even thought about brightening the sky. And we just headed slightly north of Coral Bay to a place called Oyster Bridge. So we're just gonna check that out quickly before probably clocking up a thousand Ks today. Nothing like a little bit of procrastination. And there's nothing like a little full drive in your pajamas while you enjoy your morning coffee. Literally just stopped recording and um, hit some corrugation and heard something rattling, so. Oh, I guess I'll be going under the car to have a look. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just um, one of the bash plates well, I replaced it with a bolt that didn't quite fit. So on lots of corrugation, like we just went through, it'll bang a little bit, so it'll be sweet. Alrighty, so found a bit of a sand hill just over here. my tires down yet so that's obviously a backup plan and the current plan is right foot down drive that's it how deep I'm bogged um, to see if I go backwards or if I just throw the maxis down because we're halfway up and I think I'm gonna do the max tracks option get their first go for the trip to see if they work all right attempt number two what am I gonna do differently not a whole lot <laughs> yeah, let's go All right. 
night. So I didn't get up that big hill. I tried twice and then I was like, I'll just quickly throw the drone up to see um, one, how far away we are from Oyster Bridge and two, the tide looked pretty high and from all the reviews I'd read, um, it said you need to go at low tide. So I just wanted to suss if it was worth driving um, however much further I needed to go, um, which I did. And then as I was reading the drone back, I found whales. So instead of going up that hill, I've just spent the last hour watching some whales and a pod of dolphins. They were all just hanging out right out the front of us. So I'll drop that in here and I'm not going up that hill. <laughs> I also thought I would take this opportunity to get dressed and brush my teeth. And now I've got to drive a thousand Ks ish. It's eight o'clock. Got to clock up a few Ks. It's time to go home. Yeah. Just come down to the blowholes um, at Quabba and I think it's high tide. It's pretty impressive. Wow. I've got a feeling that if you need this, it's probably too late. Good morning from Monkey Maya. <laughs> we got up early, left Denham at before the sun was up. That's the time. Um, came down here to do a dolphin feeding, so we're just waiting for the dolphins to come in now before we see them. At Monkey Maya, they feed the dolphins every day from 7:45 till midday, up to three times a day, depending on when the dolphins come in. Um, I think they've got a 99% success rate of dolphins. I'd recommend it. There is still so much to do on the Coral Coast that I wasn't able to tick off this trip, like swimming with the whale sharks, mantas, and catching my first real game fish. So another trip will happen very, very, very soon. Not soon enough. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop a comment below. Tell me what your favorite part was. Until next time. <laughs>